previously on Mason's ADV. The issue is there's a 600 pounder behind that. Almost, 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 there you go. Oh. Uh, up, up, up. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Who's pushing who? <laughs> Give it a try. Just remember, at that log, you're gonna hit a bump. How waterproof do you think the clothes bag is? All right, thanks, boys. It's got a time check. It's got to be almost coffee time, isn't it? Almost 1:30. 27. Let's find a little clearing and do a brew. Right here. Oh, right up on the top there. Right. Right. On the left? Yeah. Yeah. My gloves are drying. It's so much better. It's good. The old triumph looks amazing. Get a, get a good shot of the bend in my wheel. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice one. Time for a little roadside boil up. It's definitely coffee time. Lots of water and coffee, that's right. Beautiful spot for a stop. Oh, I feel the grit on my teeth now. Nope, nope, that's just off the lid of my mug. Cheers, guys. Yeah. We definitely put these through more than the average uh, weekend rider, I believe. Mm -hmm. They do pretty good. Especially these things. Yeah, not so much this one. Well, that was a nice break, guys. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was. Get a coffee. for I don't know how long now, Mason. Yep. And every time you roll on the throttle and go like where your back tire's turning a little bit, yep. I don't know if it's the engine pulses you can see in your track. Like it actually is like a very step da -da 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 down really? the road. Yeah. Watch, Melanie, you'll see it. Maybe it's just the lug off the TKC, isn't it? I don't know. It's like every, I'm going to say, six or eight inches 
It, it, so you think it's just um, every time the piston comes yeah. down and makes it on a power stroke, it's actually tick, 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 like yeah, like leaving marks in the ground like that. But it's been doing it the whole way through. I've been noticing. Ooh, you just flung a big one at me. <laughs> Whoa, that one's fine. Boy, is it amazing here, eh? Wow. Yeah, there's trails everywhere. There is a hundred trails. You didn't have this mapped out, and you were just trying to pick your way through. With the... Yeah, I knew I couldn't do it. All you could do is stay on the one that looks most traveled. That's right. On, on my GPS, though, is it not on yours, Mason? This, all the other trails are black. This is a green trail, bro. Well, unfortunately, I have overlaid this with my purple. Oh. Uh, so I, I can't tell what it was originally. Yeah. But yeah, so then yours, yours will be the way it would go, which is nice. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so. Oh, Here's where you're going to see a moose. But the undergrowth, yeah. the undergrowth hasn't even come up enough. You keep saying that, and I don't see it. Well, the last ones we went through, the undergrowth was up like 10 feet, so you'd be hard pressed to see one. But in this stuff, they'd stick out like a black freight train stand in there. Sideways log here. That one's a harsher hit than it looks. You go through that stuff, you kind of keep a semi-line. 
Melon goes through his front end, goes from one side of the road to the other, back tires <laughs> in the air. <laughs> like he's on a pogo stick or I something. I know. I know. It's scary to watch. He <laughs> seems to do it though. It just launches all over. It's awful. Yeah. Absolutely. I gotta quit picking my own line though. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Another great section. This has been full of them. Right. This, this is a great trail. Don't go on that one. That will turn you in the lake. Oh no! Holy! <laughs> no, that, no, I ducked. I don't think I hit him, did I? Was that a grouse? No, it was like a, a woodpecker. It oh, was red, I, red tailed. Oh, I just seen it moving across the front of you. <laughs> I actually caught up to him. I was expecting him to go somewhere. Up, down, left, right. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I got, just gonna stop one oh, thing, you keep going. Yeah. yeah, I can't stop there, that's for no, sure. No. It was taking me out of uh, off-road. Where'd you go here? Uh, oh, it, just look at look for the worst line, and that's pretty much what I took. Yeah, I think I did the same. There's a wheelie rock. Oh, <laughs> I was just a dog, I couldn't do anything. <laughs> what do we got now? 75 kilometers to go? Yes, yes, that's right. <laughs> this keeps resetting. Yeah, 705 kilometers to go. This is how it would be in Russia. Yeah. Going home after work? 750 kilometers of this. These would be the ones you actually have to look for a train. Yep. Hey guys, I'm not sure whether I turned my camera off or it is a dead battery, but here we are. This is our site. We're at Lazy Rock uh, up in Mattawa, and uh, I will touch base with you here in a bit when we get set up. Lazy Rock Campground, just outside Mattawa. We 
can see the trucks going by. That's the uh, Trans-Canada Highway right there. And Mattawa is just to the east of us. So Mellon and Shooter have headed into town to pick us up some snacks because we're actually staying here for two nights. So we've got the tents all set up, fire pit, a bit of firewood came in. The hosts here are uh, very helpful, super friendly. And we even have our own motorcycle parking right across the road. Nice picnic table, beautiful spot. Anyway, gonna uh, get unpacked here. I'm gonna hit the showers before the boys get back. We'll be good to go. See you in a bit. How's the fishing dock looking? Ready? And fish. One. <laughs> you do a fantastic job, though. Like, don't think we don't appreciate it, because we do. Damn it! Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, if you liked that video, hit the thumbs up button for us. It goes a long way towards helping out the channel. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button in the upper corner for new videos every Sunday. Be glad to have you along for the ride. Free.